So these are grade B cells. Um, I did some research and honestly I felt like for the money savings in our application, the grade B's will work just fine. They look pretty good. Uh, they're supposed to be a uh, you know, possibility of minimal swelling, whatever, but they look pretty good to me. All right, so there's the that's the out layout of the batteries. Um, one of these fiberglass-ish slip sheets goes between each battery. Sort of a protector between the two. Lipo fours are much more stable than the old lithium, so I'm not sure that's even still necessary, but it's cheap insurance as far as I'm concerned. Line them all up. I cut this piece to separate the batteries to give a couple reasons to, just to space it and then to also space it properly for the connector across but uh, more because I like it and it's going to be a nice cradle so that'll go there these will go here and here keep the swelling from happening um, and then this will be cradled between two screws in here just to give you an idea how it's going to look then that entire thing will be one battery pack that weighs a third as much as the equivalent lead acid and it's a pretty amazing technology so I'm excited about it. So I'm just assembling basically the got everything cut to size. Now I'm assembling the uh, everything holds together. So that's the assembled battery pack compressed. Next, we have to get the BMS mounted on there. I'm not quite sure exactly how I'm going to do that yet. But come along. Today, we will be. Uh, I'm going to mount the BMS uh, probably on the side there somewhere. Get it uh, everything connected and functional, and then get this bad boy into the boat and connected. So I've made a little. Uh, bracket here for the BMS. I got one screw in it now, just holding it in. This has four in it into the aluminum rails that are acting as the compression on the uh, LiPo batteries. So it should work out pretty well. These two will go up to the negative side here of the battery. These two will go to the negative side of the boat, and uh, that's how it'll work. That's it, that's the completed 610 amp hour LifePo 4 battery pack for Island Girl. We've got a 300 amp BMS uh, with Bluetooth, so it'll be able to um, be able to communicate with the battery, see what's going on. 610 amp hours should be great for our 3000 watt inverter. Uh, should work well. I got some solar going in, should be good setup. So just a couple minutes here on how this thing is wired. The BMS essentially monitors each of the individual cells temperature, voltage, just to make sure that things don't get overcharged. Uh, if it reaches a certain voltage that's high, it'll shut it off. It'll, it'll cut power from the, the BMS to the batteries. Same thing on the low side. Once it gets down to the discharge level where it's no longer useful, it'll cut out. 
the BMS here, these, these four wires, the leads, uh, they basically go to the negative side of each of the parallel cells. So each one of these is 305 amp hours. There's eight of them. And there's two in parallel, two in parallel, two in parallel, two in parallel. The two in parallel double to 610 amp hours. And then when you put these in series, in, in four, that makes the 12 volts. It's basically a fully discharged is 12.8 volts, but fully charged it's 13.6-ish volts. Uh, so that's how they're wired. And then each one of these tells the temperature of that particular paralleled cell, tells the voltage level, uh, and the BMS controls it from there. I'll also have to program the inverter being a Victron inverter. It's, it, it's smart, so it, uh, I can program the inverter with the parameters that are provided by the manufacturer of the batteries, uh, where it's where what the voltage is at a certain state of charge, so it knows where the batteries are at all times. Uh, it's a great setup. Not cheap, but fun. Uh, definitely will be a great addition to uh, to our setup. All right, so we're in the boat now. Uh, the battery pack is right there, and it's got to go in there. In, but not wired. My back needs a little bit of a break. It's a little misleading. It's light for sure for 610 amp hours of battery, but it's not light for an old man with a bad back. It's probably about 70 pounds, I would say. All right, so it's in. Everything looks pretty good. You just turn the power on. Okay, she's done. Everything's connected. Everything's finalized. She's strapped down. Um, power's on, inverter's on. Uh, battery charger's on. Everything seems normal. It works. I'm gonna let it run through a cycle. I'll uh, discharge it just to make sure everything works properly, but it looks good.